Happy Thursday, trade hackers. Welcome to today's day trading recap, Thursday, February 11th. Another positive green day, plus 627 on the morning. Uh, in fact, this is, uh, so we've been green every day this week. We were green every day last week. The previous week, we had a, a, a red day on Friday, but we're green Monday through Thursday. So literally, what is that, uh, 5, 10, 14? 4, 4, 14, 13 out of the last 14 days, we've been we've been green. So nice little green streak we've got running. Um, let's go over these trades, starting with uh, Mighty 90. Had two Mighty 90s today. Booked a small winner in Apple, 49 bucks. A uh, nice winner in Tesla for 450. Did a pairs trade today. Finally booked a winning pairs trade. Pairs trades have been really tricky lately. Uh, booked 118. We are long, long NASDAQ versus short the Dow. Small trade there for 118. And then on the runners, uh, just a total of 10 bucks, so pretty, pretty much a scratch on the runners, but booked a nice winner. My biggest winner was Airbnb, plus 630. Boeing took a loss of 405. DKNG, plus 225. GameStop is dead to me. I'm never trading it again. Uh, minus 470. Netflix, exactly a scratch on that one. Had a really nice P&L, but ended up giving it back. And then Zoom, small winner, plus 30. So let's go over these. Starting with our mighty 90s, uh, we'll start with Apple. And in Apple, we did a mighty 90, had this big flush down right into this pivot. So we got long right here, sat through a bunch of chop, finally spiked up. I closed out half right here, uh, chop, chop, chop. And then finally, when it busted through here, uh, I was still holding, seeing if we could get a little bit more, but it, it started to roll over, so I just cut out the rest. So ended up booking a small profit on that one. Tesla plus 450. Uh, this was a nice one. Nice push, uh, big volume spike. We got short right here and just took a little piece out of that. Uh, we, we actually closed it a little bit early. Uh, I, did, I was afraid that, that price was going to bounce off this pivot, which, which it actually did. Uh, and I thought I was going to continue higher. Uh, ended up rolling over, but anyway, still booked 450. Just got out on this pullback to the pivot there. And then on to the runners. Uh, Airbnb, my biggest winner. Let's take a look at Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb, big, massive push, spike in volume, waited for a little bit of a pullback. And we got long right here. And had a beautiful push up. Ended up closing it out right at the top. Nice winner for 650. Uh, excuse me, 630. Uh, Boeing was a loser for minus 405. Let's take a look at BA. Uh, BA big big volume bars here. So we were looking on this pullback. Got long. Got out of half of it just on this little spike here. And when it came back down, I reloaded and was real close to getting out some more. Had my order about if price would have gotten about right up there did not get there and then just rolled over and when it finally broke down to this level here i just i just bailed on the rest and so uh took a loss of 405 on that one dkng for plus 225 uh, this is also a runner big massive volume spike here looked for a little bounce got short and then just rode this down ended up getting out of my last contracts right here at this pivot uh, for 225 dollar gain GameStop minus 470. I'm not going to go over it. I shouldn't even have been in the stock. Uh, I just had it on my board because of all the action that we've been seeing recently. Uh, but when you get in a situation like that with stocks that are in that kind of situation, it's just best to get out. It, or it's just best not to trade them because they are not going to follow the pat typical patterns of stocks. And so uh, I just deleted it from my screen. And so I'm going to be done with GMA, GME and never speak of it again. Uh, Netflix uh, had a nice winner in here, ended up giving it back. We um, had massive volume spike right here, so we were waiting for a bounce to get short. So we got short right here, scaled out of some right here. We I should have scaled out of more here, but didn't. And then all of a sudden this massive bar happened. Now, I wouldn't have been as nervous, but had a massive volume spike with it too. So I thought this thing may continue higher. It did end up rolling out, but I just, I closed it out at that point for a scratch. Uh, so no P&L on Netflix. And then Zoom, lastly, Zoom, Zoom. 
Uh, we took a, we took a, what did we do? Oh yeah, we took an upside runner here, had this big push up, big, big spike in volume, waited for a pullback. Actually, I, I got in a little bit here and I scaled into more size here. It ended up pushing against me. So it took some decent heat. Um, I didn't, I, I never did add to it just cause I kind of got the position size I wanted at this point, thought it would bounce from there, uh, pushed against me, but held all the way back up. And when it, when I, when I got to, uh, even here, right near the highs of the day, I just closed it out and took a little scratch plus 30. So plus 627 on the day. We'll be trading live again tomorrow on Friday. Don't forget Monday is president's day. So market is closed. Uh, but we'll be streaming live every other day this month. So look forward to seeing you then. If you guys have any questions, give me a shout.